I remember it as if it happened a year ago, which I imagine is the case for a lot of people, but I was in the Channel 9 newsroom at the time. I'd just come in. It was the morning, getting ready for the day's news. I remember looking at the newspapers. Uh, in fact, the headline, I think, had to do with um, shark attacks at the time. Uh, there's nothing going on. Looking at the papers, beautiful day. And uh, looked up at the TV monitors, or someone said, hey, look at that on, on, on the network, because we have those monitors up there. And it was a shot of the World Trade Center on fire. And initially in the newsroom, people thought it was file tape. They thought it was video from 10 years earlier when a bomb had gone off in the basement, uh, and they thought it was that. And then people said, no, wait a minute, that's really on fire. And then all three networks, ABC, NBC, CBS, all three networks ended up showing the exact same footage. So at that point, we realized something was going on, and of course, a plane had flown into the World Trade Center. So we started getting busy in the newsroom saying, well, this looks like it's going to be a big story. Well, then, as we all know, a second plane flew into the towers. And at that point, we knew in the newsroom that this was a full crisis. This was the real thing. And our news director, Bob Morford, had just started here, uh, maybe a few weeks or a month or two earlier. So he was new. Uh, he came out and he said, we're going to have an emergency meeting because this is the big one. The United States is under attack. We didn't know how much bigger it would get. Uh, so we called it an emergency meeting in the newsroom and we said, whatever you had planned for today, other stories, et cetera, it's all scrapped. Today there is only one story. It's America under attack and everyone is to be on this. We started calling in people who weren't supposed to come in until later. We had them in the newsroom. We started sending people out. I remember being sent out in the morning and as consumer guy I'm looking for you know, news money angles. And that's it's tough in a case like this. Uh, but I remember seeing people all leaving their work downtown and that was interesting because people had just arrived 9, 9, 30 in the morning. They were just getting to work and people were rushing home. I mean it was like 4 o'clock in the afternoon, 5 o'clock rush hour getting out of downtown at 10 o'clock in the morning because people were, were frightened. They wanted to go home. They wanted to see their families. They wanted to pick up their kids at daycare, at school, get them and, and get everyone together. So I remember covering that and being out and seeing the people all leaving the downtown buildings and, and rushing home and we spoke with them and it was just such an emotional time even though we were hundreds of miles away. It was such an emotional time right here in Cincinnati. I think we don't take anything for granted. I think 9-11 changed the world for all Americans. And as a result, anytime something happens that's a little out of the ordinary, I think we in the news business take a closer look at it than we might have 12, 13, 14 years ago. We don't shrug things off. Something strange happens. There's a report of an explosion, something suspicious. On the past, we'd shrug it off, we'd laugh at it. Sometimes now everything is a potentially serious situation. It's a potential terrorist attack. You never know. And I think the, the news media became just a lot more sensitive since 9-11 and certainly a lot more attuned to every little thing that could be out of the ordinary.